100 percent now you may be looking this look like a normal bass but what's up youtube it's country cousin i'm here back with another video so you can see i'm not in alabama actually i drove all the way to georgia me and country girl she's in the car but we drove all the way to georgia to catch this one fish you may have seen me misidentify in one of my previous videos so fish that we came here came here for is actually a shore bass i came here to catch a shore bass and i got some help and on george bass master to get here but we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing while we wait on him to get here i got well this morning actually went to simmons this morning i didn't record um just had to hurry up and go in and go out but shout out to william if you're watching this well william shout out to you we got us a new spinning reel i can sit you guys right up here all right so we got a decade uh no idea how the hell you Let's see now this is a decade spinning reel now, it was two they had at Simmons. They had a, they had this one. Uh, this is the all black, and then they had a white one. So this is, I think he said, this is like the standard. If you go to uh, Academy or uh, Tackle Warehouse, this is the 99, um, 99 version, or the 99 dollar price point. And then they had the white one, which was the 129. But they were selling those. They sold, they were selling these today exclusively well not just today i don't i guess they some today sell out uh for these for 69 and they had the other ones for 99 so i got one with the bigger the bigger uh spool this is actually the what size spool is this this is the three three thousand size three thousand spool got diagram look like we got some what is this they line. I don't know what these are. Reduce. Those washer stacks. Okay. So I guess we got some extra ones. Got the diagram. Got the handle. And they also had the rods too. It was also said the rods for forty nine ninety nine as well. Hey, how you doing? It was actually selling the rail, selling the uh, the the rods as well. But I already got a rod. I already I have a couple of spinning rods that i need to get some combos on so i'm gonna be pairing this up i don't know if it's gonna be a permanent thing but we're gonna try it out this is a mock this is the mock speed stick this is actually a fast taper medium heavy seven foot seven foot two i actually have two of these identical i actually got from simmons like a couple years ago when the mocks first came out when when this was the when they first dropped this it might have been more than a couple years ago it might have been three years ago i don't i don't know but we're gonna get this lined up in the line that we got oh yeah that's looking that's looking great already i'm liking that i'm liking the way that that looks oh huh. all right we also got some line so we're about to spool this up real quick and we'll see you when Georgia get here, well, when Marshall get here. Yeah, man, Larry was talking the other day. He was telling me, if we go up to Marshall's like early in the year, or, oh, snap, that is a slippery boy right oh, yeah. there. February, February, March, and April. I can pretty much guarantee you to pounds. Well, you know what we'll be in fifth. Caught my first show. He ain't big, but where's the camera? You know that sandpaper kid? What the fuck? <laughs> it's like a it's like a white bass. Yeah. Kind of like a stripe. God me. I find he got hella parasites in him. <laughs> well guys i don't know if i did an intro but i'm in georgia and you can see i came all the way 
to Georgia to catch this fish. Now you may be looking, this look like a normal bass, but no it is not. This is actually a shore bass. And big shout out to Georgia, aka Marshall, who's holding the camera. Let me show you, show you what. <laughs> he actually put me on this. We've been here maybe about 30 minutes. I got one bite, he got one bite. He walked down, I got another bite, and I caught my very first shore. Um, hopefully we can upgrade in size, but you want to show them those parasites? Yeah, I mean, look at this guy. This guy got hella parasites in his tail. His fin down here. Usually you can see them in their mouth. I don't see any in his mouth. They'll have a spot on their tongue, just like a spotted bass too. Damn. But uh, yeah, that and sandpaper skin, like they're pretty. Once you catch one, you'll know. Like this is, this is amazing to me. I mean, it's not the biggest guys, but. I drove all the way to Georgia and I will keep driving all the way to Georgia to come catch some of these show bass. Let's get a release on this guy and let's catch some more. You can stop it. Bye bye, Mr. Show. Thank you. You made this trip worth anything. Show you what I'm using. I'm actually using this Strike King Ned Rick. I can't remember exactly what these are called specifically, but I got this just pretty much. What I'm doing, find a little calm spot, and I'm just dragging this bait along real slow. Hitting every little box, hitting every little rock I can. And once I start hitting rocks, I just lift my pole up. Wind down, just dragging it down slowly. Yeah, we ain't gotta stick right here. We can speed fish just a bunch in the pockets. Yes. I I'm down. Stay too much switch to a little small crawfish getting tired of those fish pulling down my worm
Guys, the GoPro filled up in storage. I'm actually glad I came back. I can swap out my SD cards, but I got another one. This is actually a better size one. You actually see the markers on this one a little bit better than the smaller one. And as you can see, this is not no ordinary bass. I mean, first glimpse, it probably looks like a smallmouth, mm -hmm. but I can guarantee that this is 100% sure bass. This is this is what I want, and it's strange because. Marshall just caught one with no parasites, and it's like I caught one. What I don't know. Maybe I'm catching a that might parasite just be uh, fish. spots. Think I think so? those are just spots markings. Oh, okay. What about this white one? You see that one? Like that one right there? Yeah, I think that's just a blemish. Huh. Well, it might just be hill. I don't know how much more I can talk about. It. I caught this fish twice. I mean, we upgrading the size. Hopefully, we can catch a two pounder. That's actually a decent size for. Where we at? We're not gonna say where we at. Just because I know how you guys know. Some of you guys might know exactly where I'm at. But I might come out here with Ned Rig. Seems to be doing decent. Yeah. I mean I got a lot of bites with the Ned Rig, but this is my second fish. I think that those red breasts, uh boogies that he was saying, they would tan the Ned Rig up. But that's a pretty good one, eleven inch. Yeah. Almost twelve probably. It's my PB, I mean. It's nothing too crazy. It ain't nothing worth getting the scale over. But it's definitely dark? my biggest one. See that dark skin up on there? Yeah. I just think it's so cool. I mean, that's pretty. Colored. All right. Let's get you a picture real quick, and we're going to throw it back. All right. 